Hello, today we're gonna to talk about two things, indecision and the power of the Sabbath day. Taking a day of rest to rejuvenate yourself and to move forward in faith for the next six days. Let's dive into it. In a sacred scripture to me, it suggests that when you're on the errand of the Lord, you are engaged in his business. As a result of that, I have justified doing recordings and uploading videos, etc., etc., on Sunday because I feel like I'm doing the Lord's business by sharing what I know with others. So what I share can serve as a catalyst to take people to the next level so it doesn't take them as long as it has taken me to move forward and dive into the work of the Lord. But having said that, I have found that I've hit burnout. Burnout is in work, 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 and not taking time to make the Sabbath a delight to make the Sabbath a date or to rejuvenate myself, not with taking big, long, fat naps and just not doing anything for the day. No, but with taking time to do a deep study, to do to refresh my engines, to plan my next week out, and to bask in the light of the Lord. And uh, yesterday I said no recordings and no uploadings to videos, no direct messaging, simply rejuvenate for this next week. And it is amazing the results. Results. I feel alive and I've broken my 10 day of no recording record um, because I've allowed myself to turn back to the source and to engage in the Lord's work again, but giving him his due time. That is on the Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath day holy so that I can rejuvenate for the next week and have the six days of labor so that I can have rest on the seventh. So the second thing I wanted to talk about is indecision. In past years, I have made often the decision to not make a decision. I have vacillated between this or that, this or that this or that. And this is a decision. I was reading yesterday as I did some deep study the following quote. Since indecision constitutes a decision, we are obligated to make a choice and follow it. Wow, that's so impactful. I want to read it again. Since indecision constitutes a decision, we are obligated to make a choice and follow it. So I have allowed for many years, part of that most, I, I could use the excuse because of my bipolar, but part of that is deciding this, deciding that, back and forth, back and forth, making no decision, which I had an inkling of this truth, but it really hit me when I read that yesterday, that making or vacillating with my decision or being indecision is a decision. And I need to sit down and, and say, I'm going to do this and take action and do it. That's why I'm recording again today after a 10 day pause. I've got to do the work. I've got to do the work of being free with my substance so that I can lift my brothers and sisters so that we can be more godly and so that we can enjoy the fruits of godliness in our lives. Not just having the form of godliness by doing the laws of success to obtain successful things, but by having the power of godliness to not just reflect light like the moon does to the earth, but to be light like the sun that radiates light from the God within us. And we do that by making a decision, moving forward with that decision unless otherwise directed and being obligated to follow it. So learn from my mistakes, make a decision. If it's not right, the Lord will direct you otherwise. But in the meantime, make a decision. Let it be with an eye single to God and you will find his fruits.